the untouchables and the pax britannica by baba saheb ambedkar 1 note it starts abruptly of the american continent the objective of his voyage was reach india even this voyage of columbus neglect of the depressed classes of by the british government which did not admit them as members of the armed forces the manuscript of which the first page is missing was prepared by a doctor was not a sudden venture it was a part of a plan of exploration of a sea route to india which he had received its first impetus from prince henry of portugal who was greatly interested in it and who in his reign of 42 years 1480 to 1460 helped in it every possible way what was the necessity for this quest for a direct sea route from europe to india which impelled the portuguese the dutch the french and the english to come out of their seclusion the coming of the english to india was not an adventure of a singular race it was a concentrated effort and there was so much eagerness on the part of each european nation that within this concert there was a competition for reaching india first because the portuguese came first it does not follow that the rest were idle or indifferent the english and the dutch were under the belief that there was a shorter route to india than that of the cape of good hope and their delay in their coming to india was due to the fact that they were busy in finding out its possibilities the french though last to arrive were second only to the portuguese their first voyage being to sumatra in 1529 what was the origin of this eagerness to reach the indies why did the portuguese spaniards english french and dutch via with one another in centuries of strenuous effort to find a sea route to india the object was to obtain luxuries and particularly spices chilies cloves nuttings etc which could be had only from india and the east this seems rather strange that all this run should be for spices but the fact is that spices did play a very important part in this expansion of europe how much spices were used and appreciated by the european peoples in the 15th and 16th century can be seen from the following data collected by professor sheeny one of the chief luxuries in the middle ages was the edible spice wines and ale were constantly used spiced with various condiments in sir thopas for his crew not a mugeto pote in ale frozart has the king's guests lead to the palace where wine and spices were set before them the dowry of a masse girl in 1224 makes mention of mace ginger cardamom and galangal when john ball is wish to draw a contrast between the lot of the lords and the peasants he said they have wine spices and fine bread when we have only rye and the refuse of the straw when old latina was being bound to a stake he handed nutmegs to his friends as keepsakes pepper the most common and at the same time the most valued of the most spices was frequently treated as a gift of payment instead of money Matilda de Chaucer is the in the gift of the king, and her land is worth eight shilling to dine. An eye pound of pepper, an eye pound of cinnamon, an eye ounce of silk. Reads a chance record in an old English survey. The amount of these spices demanded and consumed was astonishing. Venetian galleys, Genoese varacs, and other vessels of the Mediterranean brought many a cargo of them westward, and they were sold in fairs and markets everywhere. pepper sack was a derisive and yet not appreciate unappreciative epithet applied by german robber barons to the merchants who they plundered as they passed down the rhine for years the venetians had a contract to buy from the sultan of egypt annually 420000 pounds of pepper one of the first vessels to make its way to india brought home 210000 pounds A fine of two hundred thousand pounds of pepper was imposed upon one petty prince of India by the Portuguese in fifteen twenty. In romances and chronicles, in cookbooks, trade lists, and customs tariffs, spices are mentioned with a frequency and consideration known only in modern times. Why were spices so necessary to the European peoples of those days? One's answer is taste. The monotonous diet, the coarse food. the unskillful cookery of medieval europe had all their deficiencies covered by a charitable mantle of oriental seasoning while it was a matter of taste for all it was a matter of necessity for the poor the poor needed spices 
in ancient times when food was scarce and the productivity of man in the absence of machinery was very low man could not afford to waste or throw away food as being stale whatever was left over or was not necessary for immediate consumption had to be preserved spices are the best preservatives it was because of this as also for other reasons of taste that spices were in medieval europe in such universal demand the end